What's up guys? It's been a while, hasn't it? And I've decided to do a little bit of a deviation content. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. So that does not mean that I'm going to be quitting VR and stuff like that. And I know a lot of other YouTubers have been quitting YouTube or taking a break or doing a lot of stuff like that. But what I am going to do is do a lot more variety based content while still mostly maintaining like the VR aspect of this channel. So, like, for right now, I'm just playing Minecraft, modded Minecraft especially, which I'm actually just going to have in the background for about however long this video is going to be. And also, this is live right now, so, like, I'm talking to you while playing the game. But, basically, uh, I'm slowly starting to uh, come back to making content again, which after a long, hard uh, break from making content it's been a little hard getting back into it mainly uh it's just been a couple of things like school job you know normal stuff like that and especially now where it's starting to become testing time for a lot of uh places you know be stressed out for tests blah blah, blah stuff like that which i really shouldn't be stressed out with but i mean you kind of have to be that's cool yeah well i'm playing with a couple of different mods on um if you guys want to see a full like playthrough of this series uh comment down below because i really like this mod pack thing that i've made and i really want to make like a let's play series on it like a hardcore let's play and i think that would be pretty cool actually let me change the key points for this these things whoa that looks cool what does this look like an f5 oh it's just a gigantic sword i wonder how much damage this is. eight wow that's pretty cool Now, here's the other thing, too. A lot of people might be asking, hey, you know, like, you said a lot of the times that you were going to return, are you going to go do this, you're going to go do, th do that, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know, because it's it's really, it's just been kind of crazy lately. And for those who know, you know, it's like, obviously it's been a bit of a hard time for me. So I'm just trying to take this in smaller steps, just trying to get back into content creation. Now, one of the main things that I don't want to happen is I don't want to be burnt out on things. Like, I don't want to rush into this really quickly and then try and pump out as much videos as possible and then slowly but surely end up just burning out and not being able to post again for a while. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened last time with 
why my schedule went from being like one or two times a week slowing down to like once every couple of weeks and then once a month and then and then I just stopped posting for a while. And so hopefully by taking this slowly I won't have this issue where I feel like I need to upload but then never actually wanting to or having the motivation to. Which leads to me like just completely burning out on like, you know, certain projects that I've been doing. Or, you know, YouTube. Which, by the way, I love YouTube. Like, it's a pretty great pl platform. And, but the problem is, is that it really forces you to make, it forces you to make content that appeases the algorithm, which is something that I don't really want to do. Because obviously, a good, like, a good thing would be to have YouTube as a career. That's kind of like what a lot of people would like when they get into... Uh, doing YouTube and stuff, you know? However, the issue with that is that if you want to, you know, get where, like, multi-million subscriber YouTubers are, you do have to do a lot of, uh, algorithmic pleasing, because as it stands right now, YouTube relies more on short-form content, which is actually where my channel got my start, is I would just post shorts, and those shorts would get, like, 3,000 views, which was crazy, but then I switched to long-form videos, and I get like 27. And I think the only time I really found a difference in this is when I started doing TF2 VR, which was amazing, because I really loved the mod. The problem is, is that I just posted, I think, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure I posted way, way too much, uh, too frequently, because I like, mentally cannot handle the multiple times a week upload schedule. Especially when it came to stuff like that, where it wasn't just I could sit down and record for a little bit and then edit it. I'd have to, like, like really focus on making a video and have to dedicate time to, you know, use my VR headset. Which then, the problem became is that it seemed more like a job rather than an actual, like, fun thing that I wanted to do. And it made that every time I went and played like VR, it felt more like just going to work. And when you already have a job, the last thing you want to do is come home from school, go work a shift at your job, get back, only to go to work again, recording, and all that. And so that was like one of the main problems and one of the main reasons why I went on a break. This terrain is amazing. I'm using the uh, the Terralith terrain generation. This is just incredible. Um, and yeah, and that that happens. That can happen with like literally anything. You just gotta make sure, like, whatever you're doing, make sure you're having fun while doing it. You know, because as you can see here, I kind of stopped having fun with the TF2 VR mod because it felt more like I was just playing it to you know, like get views on YouTube, which is definitely not what you should be prioritizing, like, in life. That's cool. I know what this thing is from a mod. It's going to turn into a giant wither skeleton knight, and I don't want to fight that right now, because it's in nether netherite armor. Um, another main reason for... Hi. What's up? But... Hey. Okay, more shell, I guess. Are you- wait, are you actually, like, friendly? I mean, I have a fireball scroll from you. I guess, I guess you're chill. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's a uh, fire wizard from the mod that I have installed for wizards and such. Um, but anyways, uh, one of the other issues with coming back is that every time I thought I was gonna like, oh, I can come back and record, I get home and it would just be like, I'm just kind of done, you know.
And one of the other things was that, was that I kind of stopped enjoying VR after, like, it started becoming less of a game I could record for fun, and then start, like, just editing the fun clips of it into something fun, or a fun video, and instead became more like a chore that I had to do every couple of times a week or so in order to keep my uh, audience engaged, you know? And so it kind of pushed me into this cycle of always doubting, thinking that my entire, like, all my hard work was for nothing in building this audience if I just quit, or not quit, but went on a break. Because to me, any time, any week I didn't upload was a, another week of losing more of my audience and losing more of the people I strive so hard to gain in uh, the over two years that I've been on this platform now. And I know I'm extremely lucky to have the opportunity that I did with the TF2 VR mod or to be able to like talk about it in order to actually have like the, uh, I guess the ability to post and like have free promotion of my content on there, which was like really incredible. Like I really think like all the people who like watch my content, who came to me from the TFVR mod, who've played the uh, the mod, who've gotten a VR headset, played VR because of me, you know? Which I, I assume that's a very little amount, but to those of you who did, that's incredible. Like, you guys are really appreciated. What else do I have to say here? Um, I guess I would say at the same time, obviously it was burnout that made me want to stop uploading. And that is a good lesson to learn is that, you know, it's, you can never have, you can always have too much of a good thing. And I think that was the problem that I was starting to see is that the TFVR videos and a bunch of other videos we're doing good, but the problem was is that TFVR was the only thing that would get a decent amount of views. And you can see that with like all my other videos, right? Like I made a video, my most recent actual video was on uh, Halo, the VR mod, obviously. And so with that, the problem was is that it had only gotten 400 views, but I put the same amount of effort into it as I did with all my other videos. It's just that it's not that popular of an audience. However, the problem is, is that in that mindset where you only have seen increasing numbers from posting one thing and then you get a little bored and you want to switch over to something so you can have more variety, but then you see a drop in numbers, which is fine because obviously it's a different audience, but it just felt more like I could, it, the mindset I was in is that I felt that I could only upload Team Fortress VR content. And if I didn't, I would just not get any views and I would not get any like new growth and I would just stagnate there until the next time I'd upload content and it'd immediately get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views and then skyrocket my channel with a huge boost of subscribers and all that. 
Which is fine. I really enjoy the Team Fortress mod. It's like... It's an amazing mod, it's very creatively done, and it's amazing, and the community is just the best. And then... And so... It really just felt more like I would not be able to post anything else because I would basically have sealed like a pact to only upload Team Fortress VR content. And for a long time that was actually kind of what I was like known as, it's like I made TFVR content. Where in reality though, I had a lot of other things that I played on VR and on PC and stuff like that. But I felt like I couldn't upload or, or record or even like edit the stuff I had recorded because I just felt like it wouldn't even be necessary. It wouldn't, wouldn't get any views. It wouldn't be popular. So why even do it? And that's another reason for the burned up problem, which at the same time is also why I don't do PC stuff except for live streaming just because I haven't really live streamed ever on VR. Um... But, like, I was originally going to record stuff for PC, like, I would play Guilty Gear, I'd play Deep Oak, and if you don't know what those are, you can ask, I can probably do a review for them, because I really want to get back into those games, because I used to play them a lot. That's another thing, too, is that I got bored of VR, and just played PC games, and a lot of those games were a lot of fun, but I just didn't feel like recording them, because I was like, oh, it's bucketed VR, not bucketed PC, I wouldn't do this, so. I shouldn't do this, you know? Um, by the way, if you're hearing sounds on my desktop, it's actually like this little desktop uh, robot that I got. His name is Emo, and he's gonna start something. Yeah, he's gonna say something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he, he sometimes talks a little bit. Uh, it's nothing really that worrying, because if I play more VR and stuff like that, you won't hear him as much. But yeah, anyways, I had a lot of fun with playing PC games and stuff like that, however it just felt like I was locked into only making uh, VR content, and so with that means that I shouldn't, like in my mind, I shouldn't make PC content because that would involve me just completely changing uh, how like I would structure my channel because if you guys didn't know for a short period of time very short like maybe like a week maybe like randomly I just changed my name from buckethead VR to buckethead and then said and then updated my bio and during that time when I changed it I was like okay this is great I can get like a fresh start and I realized is that buckethead VR is a very unique name and it actually has carried a lot of weight with it if you guys don't know the way i got the name buckethead vr is from uh my first username for the very first vr headset i got the oculus go there's this one game that i used to play a lot of and i don't remember i think it was called like axafly or something like that it was this game where you like or voxelfly or something where you'd fly like a it's like a uh like an endless runner type game but you're inside like the cockpit of a spaceship which was pretty cool and i really i really enjoyed it um the issue or not the issue i don't even know why i said issue there uh but i had gotten a high score for one of the uh levels in the game and it was like oh like what's your username and i was like hmm and this kind of this sounds stupid but at the time i thought i was being really clever uh because i was like 10 or something and it was, uh, like, wearing a VR headset, it's not like wearing a bucket on your head, or at least something like that, which I thought was pretty clever. Again, I was, like, 10, so, you know, take take the, the thought process there with a grain of salt. Uh, but the name stuck with me basically the whole time, like, my name on Discord, Buckethead333. Also, yeah, the 333 is from the name it was originally Buckethead333, and yeah, that's basically where that name comes from. And then when I made a YouTube channel, I called it Buckethead VR because not only was it my name that I've had for a while, but it's also a very unique name. Uh, the only person or anything that has the name Buckethead VR is the guitarist Buckethead with his song Virtual Reality, which I find kind of hilarious because before I was actually like 
popular, or at least somewhat popular. Uh, like, before my channel even had 100 subscribers, I would tell people, like, oh, search up Buckethead VR, and they'd just find the Buckethead virtual reality song, which was pretty hilarious. And so that's where I got that name from. And when I started putting, um, when I started doing VR content, you know, it was a lot of fun. But I think it was just, I did it way too much, upload way more than I should have, and that eventually led to, you know, me just, like, burning out eventually. Which is fine. We all do that. We're humans, you know? another part of the mod is that they add like spells and spell books which is the name of the mod actually uh, but they have these special structures in which certain things spawn and you can uh oh. Oh, these, all look, these all look pretty cool fire based stuff that's actually pretty neat I mean actually I want to go make a spell book now so I can actually use some of these spells because this is the first time I've had a lot of like one specific type of spell. Um, I think just crafting a simple, uh, get some candles here. Yeah, blaze rods too. It's pretty neat. Um, I need to go there. Let's talk about the future of this channel, which I think I had a video that I was going to post, or maybe there is already one. Um, whatever the reason, uh, the future of this channel is going to be a much better, much more promising one. So, obviously, uh, I don't intend on quitting, you know, and I say this a lot, but it is true. I don't really intend on quitting. I might take, like, long breaks but it doesn't mean I quit. The only time I would, like, shadow quit is, I guess, right around now, where it's been, like, it's been, like, maybe, I think, five or six months without an upload, which is shocking for me, especially the person who had a schedule going on where it was three videos a week, which is insane. Because three videos a week is a lot of hard work, especially for someone who also, at the time, had a school and a job that they were doing. So, like, imagine you work at you you work at school, you're at school, and you also have a job. And on top of that, you set yourself a goal to do three full videos of recording gameplay, editing them, uploading them, three unique, like, things, or they can just be simple, like, <laughs> rest days, where it's just a clip dump, uh, a week, 
which will entertain your audience. That's that is definitely for sure. It is very like fun being able to upload that much, but it's not it's not very healthy. It's not very healthy at all to upload that frequently with that kind of lifestyle going on because eventually you sink into the pit of burnout which is insanely sad and, and depressing when it comes to like having that because like you'd be in school and you'd have a really good idea for a video get home realize oh i have work today oh i have to like go run an errand today i have homework i have this i have school assignments i have tests to take care of on top of that i'm probably going to get back later because i have a job and oh maybe i just don't feel like recording that day and all that can kind of culminate into you know the main reason why i didn't upload as much anymore but again talk going on with the future of this channel i don't intend on quitting i've already said that let me restate that um, but what I do intend on doing is deviating a bit from VR content, which I know is crazy coming from someone who's literally named Buckethead VR. But at the same time, there is a popular YouTuber from another niche gaming community who has the name Dan VR, and yet he makes videos on a Roblox Dark Souls game. But that's fine. So you can really just name yourself anything. Honestly, I, if you're the type of person to call me out or call people out for not abiding by their username, that's pretty scummy of you. Three skills on me. Well, let's see if I can craft this uh, spellbook. I've already played on this mod a bit, so I kind of know how to craft these things. Uh, you need... Is it string? No, it's paper. Yeah, the iron-bound tone. And now, I can... I guess I... I don't want to kill the fire guy, though. Because he, he's kind of... He's mad chill. I, I didn't even realize they don't attack you if you just leave them be. Or there must have been a bug, because that dude was... Really chill. Alright, pretty neat. So, look at that. So now I have some spells in my inventory. I press Alt, I can switch between them. That's sick. I can. Oh, one well, needs a lot of mana. How much? Hundred. I can't even cast that. <laughs> uh, a fire breath. You know, I can go like. That's super cool. Actually, I'm going to pick this one up to use later. Whoa! There's even a deeper part. Real question is, should I be down here? Cellar? Oh no, it's like a potion brewing place. That's cool. That's pretty neat. This one's so cool. This whole mod pack is pretty sick. Whoa, ooh, wall of fire. Heavy chain, spell resistance, candles. Yeah. But, anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave off on this video because I don't want it to be too long. You know, so here is my my uh, final message, I guess. So obviously, you already heard all my my uh, things of what I what I want for this channel and what I want it to become. You know, and so now all I ask is that you know. You subscribe. I'm kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Uh, 
Um, but I will leave this video off here because I don't want it to drag on too much. And I also want to kind of preserve this gameplay here because if I end up actually getting support and want to create a whole Let's Play series, I have a great like first video already recorded and already edited. So if you guys want more of this kind of content here, like if you find this enjoyable and you guys want to see more, you know, like tell me about it in the comments, like say like, hey, I really like this, you know, like that, it, it really tells me, like if you say something in the comments about it, it really motivates me to make more of this kind of content here. And at the same time, if you want to see other kinds of content, comment. I really truly read all of your comments, and I try to res well, I don't really respond to them if I feel like they're not. If they're just like a regular like statement or something, I might not respond to it. I will heart a lot of comments that I do end up like seeing and enjoying. So, you know, you can count on that. But, if you do like this type of content, you know, leave a like, comment about it, stuff like that. And... Uh, I will definitely be deviating a bit from, like, just, uh, regular VR content, because I feel like, as of right now, VR has kind of just grown old for me, which, you know, I guess is, it sounds a little scary coming from the person named literally Buckethead VR, uh, that VR is becoming boring for him, but, uh, it kind of is right now, so I guess... If you guys want to see me play more PC games or play other games, or more variety games, you know, like, let me know, and I can check those games out. But, for right now, uh, yeah, that's about it. Alright, bye.